What's up YouTube, on this video, I am gonna show you how to make a product I call the G-String. All it is, is a piece of Kydex that folds over the trigger guard with a small lanyard on it, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. All right, so I went ahead and bent this already, so I hope you don't mind, please forgive me. But we are doing a SIG 228 or 229, all right, it doesn't really matter because the trigger guard is the same. Uh, this is for a friend of mine. This is what she wanted, and um, it's in blood red, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So, first, I'll just kind of, I'll break it down for you once I get this mold off. All right, so my secret retention plate, not really secret. I take three nickels and I tape them together. That's right. So take the firearm, take three nickels, and tape them right there. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this right here. Now look at that definition. That's nice on a foam press, huh? Oh baby. All right, anyways, so if you notice, Splits up here, the fold is down here, all right? So you're doing it completely backwards. Now, the reason why I do the nickels is because I do adjustable retention on the G-string. All the other companies that I've seen that do them don't do adjustable retention, so it's hit or miss. I like having the user being able to adjust whatever they want. So, while it's still in this form, I'm going to take my drill bit and do the size that I do for the retention point. Then I'll swap that out. Oh. And I'm going to do the one that I do for the rivet. And then I'm gonna take the countersink. And there you go. Okay, you got the basic shape, yada, yada, yada. So now, it all depends on how you do this. So, trigger guard has to stay covered. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up pretty much to the grip, and then I'm gonna come back down right there, okay? And we're gonna come up, and I like to follow the contour of everything. So we're gonna go here. Now that's gonna be right about here on this side, so we're not too worried. So we're gonna come up, follow and we're at the end of the trigger guard now so here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bend it down and then go around here and that's all she wrote so we're gonna cut it sand it form it and I'll show you how to finish it show you a little bit more of a trick. All right, before we do anything, I'm going to put our retention hardware in here. So I'll open it up a little bit. Verify all this is clean. Go ahead, add our retention stuff. I'll show you what else I do. All right, so retention's in. Uh, I have, let's see here, red eyelets and black. I'm gonna do black because I'm most likely gonna do um, black uh, paracord with this. So I have the head on this side, that on this side. I'm gonna put the uh, broad side on this. 
and there we go. So now, I'm going to sand it. Alright, sadly, my phone stopped recording for uh, the next part. So, uh, what I did is I got it all sanded, okay, and then I uh, cleaned up the edges, sanded a little bit more, and then I cut this. What I do is I measure my head, and then I get it to the point where um, you can't get it through your head, alright, because you don't want it hanging upside down. So, tie it in a knot. And I burn the edges, honestly, because that's what you do for this stuff so it doesn't fray. And then, at AutoZone, this is what I personally do, I think it cleans it up. You could find some heat shrink, if I could get it out. See, we only need about that much, oh, about that much. Throw the heat shrink. Yeah, I could use my heat gun. I don't feel like it. Okay, and there that is. And here is. Your G-string. So all you're gonna do is attach it to something with a carabiner or wrap it around itself. Then you're gonna pull and off it comes. Adjustable retention. Uh, so this one actually has a little bit too much retention for me. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that in just one second. All right, even though I didn't want to turn my heat gun on, still gonna do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this point right here. That way it'll uh, loosen up a little bit. I have the retention point loosened up to the point where there's no more retention on it. Uh, as in no more retention on the, uh, the bolt. So I take this, open this up along the trigger guard. Do that by softening this. Comes off much easier. And that right there. And there we go. The G-string. Oh. <laughs> Set a good enough tug and it comes right off. That's it. And thank you for watching this episode on how to make a G-string. Again, just mount it like that. Pull. Boom. Great for purses, great for inside jackets, great for on the belt, and you put them in your pocket for the smaller guns. But, that's it. There you are.